Today, we're enjoying the sights, sounds, and tastes of Mexico. So good. Is it? Mm -hmm. oh. That's a good taco. Mm, wow, mm, so good. All was fine and dandy until... I lost more. Stay till the end for a surprise on our climb up... Excalibur. Up over there. We're Chico and Moritz, and we built this box truck to get outside and explore. Join us for van life reality on the road to Pitches. Good morning. That's Buongiorno. good day. <laughs> no, that's Italian. <laughs> Clearly, we still need to work on our Spanish. But as you can see, we are way more well rested than we were a couple of days ago. We took all of yesterday off, just like decompressed. Decompressed. <laughs> Did some yoga, just spent time catching up on life. We've been traveling and doing a lot in the past week, and it all caught up to us. Today, we are going to the market in Hidalgo and get some food, get some groceries. I'm very excited for all the produce they have here because it's really good stuff, fresh from the farms around the area. This is not our first time in Hidalgo. We've been here before in like 2018 and that's one of the photos on our blog actually of us on one of the climbs here and it just like feels so surreal to be back here but with our camper van, every time we think about that, it's just like we look at each other and we're like, <laughs> we're here. <laughs> we're in Mexico, I can't <laughs> believe it. Has it sunk in that it's in Mexico for you? That we're in Mexico? Has it what? Sunk in. Oh, sunk in. No, I still don't know. Not quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> like you see it, but you don't believe it. It's been in the making for two years. Yeah. Like the last time we were here was 2019. 2019, right before the pandemic hit. So, this is so crazy, eh? No. It's almost as crazy as your eyebrows. No. <laughs> All right, I'm let's. Rambling. I know. Let's put the bikes together and then uh, well, let's get to town, guys. No. Hola. Beautiful sunny day. Wow, couldn't have asked for better weather. That was quick. No. But From what I remember, Cardius is on the right side. So yeah. why don't we head right yeah. and let's go check it out. They got everything here. We could fix. They built a camper van from all that. of cilantro for free. Oh, look at this blue jay. Blue jay? Hey, Moritz. 
van pets. <laughs> Put it in our van. What do you think? <laughs> Look, an alternator. Yeah. I got these two. Doce pesos. Doce pesos. <laughs> Getting in the way of everybody. Yeah. Three for you, two for me? Sure, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Could we have five stink? Stink? Cinco, cinco, cinco taco, por favor. You just gotta like go for it and let the locals no. correct you. <laughs> yes. And then slowly you learn. Yes. <laughs> But apparently they don't speak the S yes in Cinco. Cinco. Cinco taco pa para mi. <laughs> ah, wow, ready, already, thank you. Okay, gracias. Cinco, la verdad. Cuatro, cinco, cinco, cinco. How much is that? Siete, cinco. Siete, cinco. Seventy-five? Okay. Siete, cinco. Thank you. My luck, I'll probably get it on myself. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. Mm, so good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Wait, can I have a bite? I know what you're looking for. You're looking for food. Now I also understand why so many people end up with strays when they come back from vacation. Because yeah, yeah. look, he's so cute. But his left eye is buggered. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you sit there. <laughs> it smells really good, is it? Yeah. That's a good taco. <laughs> wow. We don't do tacos like this. I'm not. Like, why don't we do tacos like this? It should not be out of the question. No. I tell you that uh, that one time I was in this rural town in the middle of like nowhere northeast of Thailand just like outside Cambodia like a couple days outside of Cambodia and we stopped in this town go to the market there and I wanted to try like deep fried innards or something like that and we had a whole train of like 20 dogs like 20 dogs and barking and following <laughs> us the whole time. It was pretty funny. I was like scared at one point. I was like, <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna attack me. <laughs> Steal my innards. No. I lost more. I was running, running, running to pick up a papaya, half a papaya for a dollar, which is insane. And look how good it looks. Now I am on a search for a blonde haired gringo. Like, lose a German in a Mexican crowd, no? <laughs> yes! Oh, oh, hello there! <laughs> <laughs> Hola. What's what's this? What is this? Is it jicama? It's jicama. Oh, jicama. Okay. Traigo jicama, traigo pepino y traigo mango. Okay. 
Traigo chamoy, traigo tajín y traigo miguelito. Sure, all of it. ¿Te lo preparo? Yeah, all of it. I don't, I've never had it, so. Wow, it's so good. Is and it? The sauce. <laughs> the the, the sauce is, yeah, kind of a salsa fish sauce. Like a tomato y sauce? Mm -hmm. And then with the sweetness of the mango, it's really, really good. Ooh, I want to try. Okay. The whole thing? Yeah. Sure. So I have no idea what he's, I know it's mango and jicama and some kind of melon, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. um, I have no idea what any of this stuff on there is. Mm. <laughs> it works <That's> really well. <laughs> it's like salty and sweet, and um, I think there's chilies in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dried chilies. It's like the same stuff they put on the rim of the margarita. So we gotta go back and ask Jose at the bar what it is. What he put on the rim of the margarita. <laughs> and this is jicama. Pick them up like apples, like a woody apple. Well, I think I think we've gotten all the produce that we were looking for here. And that was such a great dessert. <laughs> I'm really glad we stopped. I think this might end up being a tradition of ours, eh, Morris? Every Tuesday, tacos, mango, and jicama. Alex Arnold. Hey, man. How are you doing pre-soloing that mural? It's pretty good. It's pretty good, yes. <laughs> Okay, let's head back. By the time you're back, we'll have whipped cream or butter. Home sweet home. Man, I love coming home. Don't you love coming home? Wow, so we got a whole haul of groceries for 25 US dollars. All sorts of fruits, veggies. We found some cream, some tortillas, like 25 eggs or so. Ooh, and we have papaya. Is this not like the most ridiculous fruit bowl you've ever seen? It's about, everything's about to fall off. Well, we're gonna wrap up for today. We got all our chores done, shopping, cooking, relaxing, which is a chore <laughs> Wait, for what? you. True for me. <laughs> so thank you for plugging in there. I was yeah. just like, my brain went <laughs> And then I guess we'll take you to the rocks tomorrow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're just gonna chill out for the rest of the day. I just had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm -hmm. Every time I eat sugar, my brain just goes, Whoa. No. See you tomorrow. Good morning, how are you morning. doing? Today we are going to be heading up on Excalibur, which is in El Potrero Chico. And we've been here for a few days now. Right now we're making breakfast because recently, we didn't film this part, but we were climbing Dope Ninja, which is like a plezzy-ish six pitch climb just to get warmed up in this area again. And um, we were budgeting for four, six hours at the most. Didn't eat. Didn't bring much food, had like two pancakes and like a couple slices of cheese. And we got stuck on the mountain for like eight hours because the group in front of us. They were quite slow. The way up was okay. We maybe waited an hour. An hour or so. But took us four hours, of which we waited on a quarter. The way down, they took four hours to repel the six pitches. Six pitches with which, two ropes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were on their tail the whole time and we would get to their anchor which is like two permanent bolts affixed in the wall where you could loop your rope over and then keep rappelling down. 
and then their rope would start moving like a couple of meters and then it would stop for like 20 minutes and we had no way of communicating with these people it was pitch black also it was dark and we didn't bring headlamps thankfully they left us one of their little flashlights and we had little lights on the bottom of our walkies but um rappelling into the dark was great fun because at some point you're just like i can't see what's happening so you don't you're not afraid of falling no that was pretty good <laughs> <laughs> you don't see the ground it's less scary <laughs> So long story short, we are trying to learn from our mistakes right now, which means eating breakfast, packing headlamps, and packing a decent amount of food to bring up on the climb today. Are you excited to pull out the Excalibur on top? At the top of this climb, there is supposed to be an Excalibur. That's why it's called Excalibur. Now let's see what it looks like. <laughs> I don't think I can pull it out. Isn't it like affixed permanently? Do I gain special powers though? I don't know, you got a seat at the at nice Arthur's table. table. Yeah. Ah, ah. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna pull it out? Sure. <laughs> So we haven't given a good introduction to El Potrero Chico and this is a world-class <laughs> climbing destination in North America. It's got hundreds if not thousands of bolted routes, lots of big wall sport multi-pitch climbs, which is why there are so many people here purely well, for climbing. And what's super amazing is that the approach is so easy. You've seen us approaching and the Rockies where you walk two, three hours before you can even start climbing. We'll be walking... 45 minutes today. Today, 45 minutes, but on a regular day you walk 10 minutes and you're at the bottom of these cliffs. And then there's like 600 meters of rock above you, so that's pretty amazing. So that tip over there, that's Dope Ninja, what I mentioned earlier. But in order to sustain YouTube and keep our relationship with you healthy, I mean, you certainly don't want people to see every single aspect of your life either. So we do keep some climbs and some adventures to ourselves purely just to enjoy without the added danger of losing a camera on a several hundred meter height cliff. Ow! Oh, this stuff is so spiky. Yeah. I've gotten it. Oh, that's El Bobo on the left. I'll carry you so tenderly. What I want to say is that I stand by you when you're falling. When the river is calling, I said I love you forever. We can make it together. Hey guys, looks like we found the route and um, <laughs> on mountainproject.com there was uh, someone who <laughs> accidentally climbed the wrong route next to it <laughs> and now there's a sign. <laughs> looks less intimidating from down here than it looked <laughs> from down there. So, should be a lot of fun. So after what happened last time, I think if it gets too dark, let's just wrap it. Yeah. We can always come good. back. Like, wrapping in the dark, a lot of things could have gone terribly wrong. So usually accidents happen in climbing when multiple things go wrong. And multiple things were going wrong for us on that climb. We both have climbed in the dark before we have repelled in the dark we've done all of these things and like we have a lot of ex not a lot we have some experience doing it but in my head i was like okay we're behind time it's starting to rain it's pitch black we don't have lights we don't have food we almost pulled the rope with a knot um so that means it would get stuck at the top and then yeah your and rope is, is the, stuck that's so what today if it gets too late let's we can call it no if at 3 p.m no if at 4 p.m we're not up there we gotta call it. No. But I brought headlamps. No, this so. time we're more prepared. We're 
off the leg. Yay, we arrived on the top of pitch four, about to do the last pitch five, and we've got a cool ballet ledge here. Look at all this space. This is like... Look at this. You got some nice foliage. You got a whole shelf for your rope. We can both stand here comfortably. This is like the size of a Toronto downtown condo. No, nothing worse than a hanging ballet. What's the beta for the next pitch? We are about to encroach on pitch five. So it's 12 volts, two bolt anchor. Make use of side pulls and work, work your way into a dihedral. Well, it starts a bit steeper here. And then around an hour and back and forth. Yeah. That's right, plant. Woo, that's some that's some kind of explosion, isn't it? Hi palm tree. Yeah, look at that palm tree over there. That's so funny. It's just waving in the breeze. of the sword. Wow. What? The, wow. The Excalibur. <laughs> so cool. Holy <laughs> This wall behind us. I keep forgetting how big it is. Ah, there's still a lot to climb. And there is also a lot of canyon. Ready to wrap down. Well, this is what we mean when we say ropes get snagged here. Whoop! There it goes. Ah. Watch your saddle on the tree. Multi-hitch done. We celebrate when we get through the ground here. Because <laughs> you just never know after what happened last time. Uh. You can't celebrate until you get to the ground. Excalibur. That was fun. Okay, I'm going to help Moritz with the rope and see you when we get back to the van. Of course, climbing day is never complete without cerveza, beer. And we are at, what do they call here, Taco Loco. Mm -hmm. And literally, this is the taco shop I was talking about earlier. And we climbed up over there. So you got some tacos. Enjoy some dinner. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Wow. Gracias. Wow. We got picadillo, barbacoa. Chicharron, pollo, e no, that's picadillo. Mm -hmm. So this one's carne or the beche, whatever. For sure. We made it back to the van. We hope you had fun coming along with us on Excalibur and other five pitches, 510C. Super fun ish, but dirty climb and having oh, dinner. Yes. The, the coolest thing is that you actually climb among these palm trees. Okay, Which you don't really yeah, get on other climbs. So if you like that, leave us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. We read each and every single comment and we love each and every single one of you. So thank you so much for stopping by and subscribe if you want more of this content. Happy to have you here. All right, All right see, you, see next you on the road time. to pitches.